All right, folks, welcome to Give Me Five. You know, ironically enough and sadly enough, last Friday in this segment, I played for you part of a video, an Open Gates video. It's gone viral. And I played a segment of it, a 16-minute video, and I played about three and a half minutes. I ended the show by saying, watch this and be very much afraid. And lo and behold, a few hours after those words, we saw what we saw in Paris. I'm going to play you some more of that video. This should be as frightening as it was last Friday, but even more so based on what happened in Paris uh, over the weekend. Let's watch. Wir müssen uns gegen die Nazis stellen. Schon aufgrund unserer Geschichte zwischen 1933 und 1945 sind wir verpflichtet, Flüchtlinge anständig zu behandeln. Und dann gibt es ja noch was. Jedes Jahr sterben mehr Deutsche, als geboren werden. Das liegt zum Glück daran, dass die Nazis sich auch nicht besonders vervielfältigen. Und schon deshalb sind wir auf Zuwanderer aus anderen Ländern angewiesen. It doesn't matter if Sweden's immigration model is failing miserably. If test scores in Swedish schools are plummeting, or if crime in some areas has skyrocketed. I hope all of them, and everyone else across Britain, will reflect on the universal values that Ramadan represents, and the contribution that British Muslims make to our country. Es ist, glaube ich, ein wichtiges Signal an Sie, dass der Islam, so wie der Bundespräsident Wolf es äh, gesagt hat, zu uns in Deutschland inzwischen gehört. Appalling abuse of at least 1400 children over a period of 16 years. Children being raped, trafficked, beaten and sometimes doused in petrol. All the perpetrators were of Pakistani heritage. Ramadan Mubarak to you all. Since then, an unholy alliance of leftists, capitalists, and Zionist supremacists has schemed to promote immigration and miscegenation with the deliberate aim of breeding us out of existence in our own homelands. First, their immigrant pawns were temporary guest workers. Then it was a multiracial experiment. Then they were refugees. Then the answer to a shrinking population. Different excuses, different lies. But the real aim stays the same. The biggest genocide in human history. Really ashamed of the racist and xenophobic uh, terms. Is your policy serious or is, are you just shouting? Mr. Griffin. It's you that's shouting because obviously the truth hurts. I have a constructive suggestion to help those poor asylum seekers from Africa. Yes, make it clear they can't come here so they don't try to cross the sea and drown in huge numbers. The best way for them is to get the banks off the backs of their countries so they can live in peace in their countries and we Europeans can live in peace in ours. Thank you. دولة إسلامية واحدة موحدة لا تعرف إلا لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله Yeah, it's just a couple of uh, misguided people. It has nothing to do with religion. Europe is going, going, gone. God help us if we follow in their footsteps. Thanks for watching.